What's up guys? Welcome to iFix Tech. This time we're gonna be changing the motherboard on a Lenovo Teampack X1 Yoga Gen 6. Like Luigi, here we go. So it's been a lot of problems going on with this X1 Yoga Gen 6, that's why we're changing the motherboard. Let's get to it. So on the back, you will see it has five screws. You want to remove those screws. This one, you can use a Phillips head screwdriver or star head screwdriver, whatever they call it on your part of the planet. Now we're going to be using our uh, black stick tool to pry open the machine. I normally do it from the back side. This is how I recommend you to do it. Be careful. You don't want to break the cover. Just slide the tool around the edge. Perfect, cover is out. By just looking at it, I love the design of this computer. Let's proceed removing the battery. That's the first thing you want to remove from the machine before playing with any component. All the screws are fully heads or they got different sizes and different colors. The battery itself had six screws and they are the bigger one on the whole machine. Once you finish removing all the screws, just pull the battery from the closest side to the board. Now let's remove the USB right port. Take note that the two screws closest to the edge are larger to the others. Once done, just pull the port. Now let's remove the audio jack. Take note that those two screws are the same side of the battery. You want to put them aside so you don't confuse them later. Just pull them once you remove the screws. Now let's remove the screws from the motherboard. You will notice those screws have a black color. Now let's remove the one from the other side. They are eight black screws that hold the motherboard in position. You want to have them all together once you finish. Time to remove the SSD drive along with the heatsink. For the heatsink, just pull it up. Don't pull the hard drive, just try to slide it to the right. Now let's disconnect the cables. Disconnect the trackpad. Then disconnect the keyboard. Those two are the right side and the left side speakers. We can disconnect them and disconnect the stylus. Now we can disconnect the mic and camera cable. Be careful, you don't wanna break the cable or the port. Also here we have the antenna cables, just disconnect them. This flex is the power bottle, also the fingerprint. Uh, be careful how you do it, you don't want to break this, it's very easy to damage this cable, do it carefully. This is a display cable, uh, you want to disconnect in the same way you did with the cable for the mic and camera. Disconnect CMOS battery. Perfect, let's keep going, you want to remove the heatsink now. He has four screws. You want to use a smaller screwdriver. You don't want to strip off the screws. Once you remove the screw, now you want to disconnect it. Remember, never pull the cable. Once it disconnected, just pull it up. Perfect. Now you should be able to just remove the old motherboard. Here we got the new one. Remember to always hold it from the edges. You want to start from the left side. Perfect. Now with the help of our tool, we're going to remove all the cables from the back. We want all the connectors to be on top. You can connect the trackpad now. Just press down. Now let's do the keyboard. It can be a little tricky and a little difficult to do. You see that white line? Just make sure it is aligned, try to put it in place properly, close it. Now we got the speakers, left side speaker, right side speaker, they can be also a little tricky. Just make sure you put it in place and use your tool 
but slide it all the way in same thing with the right one same thing with a stylus connector just use your tool and slide it all the way in perfect now we're going to connect the lcd display just put it in place and press all the way in let's keep connecting cables now the one on the right side this is the power button cable also controls the fingerprint you want to do it carefully don't break it this is the antennas they can be a little tricky just put it on top and use your tool to press all the way down same thing with the other one just put it on top use your tool to press it this is the uh, mic and camera cables for some strange reason it was held with the tape but let's put it back and make sure it is connected properly all right now go to the usb port on the right side and the audio jack let's screw them back remember those two screws that i'm doing right now are the smaller one and the two closest to the edge are the larger one now the screws for the audio jack remember those two are even bigger are the same size of the battery screws now let's do the screws for the motherboard wire remember remember the black little screws that goes on the motherboard position you can follow what i'm doing now so you don't get confused even though if you get confused the motherboard should have uh, like a little mark where you can see uh, where are the screws that go on the motherboard now apply the thermal paste remember it's just a small portion don't apply too much here come on stay in place Very nice let's install the heatsink with the fan remember when you put the fan you want to uh, do the screws like on a numerical position it should be like a little numbers indicating or you can do it like forming an X that way uh, it helps to spread the thermal paste evenly don't forget to connect the fan you want to put it in front with your tool to slide all the way in let's put the SSD you know same way you did it before but just in reverse same thing with the heatsink let's screw them back very nice let's connect the CMOS battery once you're done with the CMOS battery, let's connect the battery, the internal one. Just press firmly through the edges to help it put it all together. Now let's do the screws. As you can see, I tried to let all power source for the last uh, thing that I connect on the motherboard. That way you avoid to damage any component on the system board, you know, while you're playing with it. You don't want to have any power source connected to the motherboard. Those new boards are really picky. They are delicate and can be damaged easily. Once you're done, make sure everything is connected. Take a quick look and make sure you don't forget anything. It's time to place the bottom cover. You want to do it from the front side first and then just slide it down. Once it is on place, only thing you have to do is just press firmly across the edges that way you uh, will put it in place nicely once that is done use your screwdriver to screw those five screws once that's done is going to be the moment of the true let's find out if our machine is fixed by pressing the power button you can see that now we have likes and everything is all good please don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next video